So let's start our discussions. Uh, at the very beginnings, we are going to discuss distance and displacement. There are a few things that you need to know about distance and displacement. First, of course, you need to know their definition. Uh, for distance, it's defined as the total length of the path traveled by an object from one point to another. And for displacement, uh, it's, a, it's the shortest distance between two points in a specific directions. Um, we are going to explain this in the very next slide. Uh, there are another things that you need to know about distance and displacement. For example, you need to know their unit and whether they are scatter and uh, vector quantities. Can you tell me what's the unit for distance? Uh? Okay, the, the SI unit, the SI unit. So can you tell me what's the SI unit for distance? Is meter, uh? meter. This is the SI unit, uh? meter. Okay, and for displacement, what do you all think? What's the SI unit for displacement? It's also meter, so they have the same unit. Okay, and then uh, distance. Is it a scalar or vector quantities? Scalar or vector quantities? Distance is a scalar quantities. It's a scalar quantity. It means that it has no direction. It only has magnitude, but has no directions. And displacement is a vector quantity. Yeah? Vector quantity. It has both magnitude and directions. Yeah? You have magnitude and directions. Okay, a vector quantity has magnitude and directions. Um, so that is what you need to know about distance and displacement. Yeah? Now let's see this example. Let's say there is a man, okay. Uh, he work in a factory. So every day he travel from his house to the factory. And uh, this is the path that he take every day. Yeah? Okay. And um, so from here, we can see that uh, the path, the length of the path is 200 meters. Uh, okay. But if uh, we draw a straight line from his house to the factory, and uh, the length of this straight line is 120 meters only. Okay. So in this case, we say this 200 meters is the distance. It's the distance traveled by this man from his house to the factory. Okay, now let's write here. This is the distance travel. So distance travel. So distance is the total length of the path traveled by an object. Okay, then how about this one, 120 meter. That is the shortest length between these two points, the factory and uh, his house, uh, okay. So this is the displacement. Uh, the shortest distance between these two points is called the displacement. And uh, so the displacement is 120 meter. Okay. And uh, actually for displacement, you also need to state the directions. Uh, okay. So uh, let's say this is north. This is north. Uh, okay. And let's say this is 60 meter. So, uh, so the direction is uh, 60, sorry, uh, let's say the, the, the angle is a 60 degree, okay? So the direction is uh, 60 degree from north. Eh? So 60 degree from north. Okay, so for displacement, you need to tell the magnitude, eh? the magnitude and also the directions, okay? So that is the difference between distance and displacement, eh? okay? Uh, distance is the total length of the path and displacement is the length of the shortest distance between these two points. Eh? Again, and the shortest distance is always the straight lines that connects the two points. Okay, And for displacement, uh, you need to tell the magnitude and also the direction. Let's see another example. Eh? So in this diagram, there are three points, eh? A, O, and B. Eh? Okay, And then so in this diagram, uh, for the distance, uh, for the distance, we say the distance of B from O is 100 meter. So the distance of B from O is 100 meters, and the distance of A from O is also 100 meters. So it means that uh, the distance of B from O and the distance of A from O are the same. So both of them have the same distance from O, uh, point B and point A. Yeah? Okay, that's for distance. Uh. Then how about displacement? For displacement, we say the displacement of point B from O is positive 100 meters, 
whereas the displacement of A from O is negative 100 meters, okay? Uh, which means that the displacement of B from O and A from O are not the same. The displacement are not the same eh? because the displacement of B from O is positive 100 meters and the displacements of A from O is a negative 100 meters. So they are not the same. Eh? Uh, the positive and negative sign shows the directions of the displacement. Okay, to the right, usually we use the positive and to the left, usually we, uh, we use negative eh, to indicate the directions. So displacement is a vector quantities. And uh, when you state displacement, you must include the directions. But for uh, a straight line, okay, you can use either positive or negative to indicate the directions. You don't need to tell us how many degrees of north or south, okay? Just tell whether it's a positive or negative because there are, there are only two directions uh, in a straight line. But you must state the directions, uh, whether it's a positive or a negative. Uh.